Perry Pencil. Hello, this is Perry Pencil, and for this video, we're going to be drawing Gypsy Danger 2.0 from Pacific Rim Uprising. Now let's begin. All right, let's start out by dividing our page in half, top to bottom, and then immediately start putting in an oval shape for the head of the Jaeger. And just to point out here, I'm starting out really light, just so that uh, when you go over your darker pencils, you can see it later. And dividing our head down one and then two for the waist. And then putting a line for the shoulder and line for the chest. You wanna put two on the opposite sides of the oval for the shoulders. And just like a human formed body, you wanna put the torso in. Now once you have that established, for the shoulders, because it's robotic, you want to put angular shapes in like a square on both the right and left side of the robot. Let the arms come down to the edge of the page to measure it out. As you notice, I'm drawing a line straight across and then angling it so that his fist can meet in the middle. And then putting circles in for the wrists and then have a line go up for the outside of his right hand and then follow up off of the wrist with the left hand, have the fist going straight into the right hand. And it's a particularly uh, great pose to have because he's uh, punching his hand, his left hand into the right hand, showing that he's bet ready, uh, excuse me, showing that he's ready for battle. Here we could begin putting in the visor part of Gypsy Danger and using temple lines here so that we know exactly how far in we want the uh, visor to be. Let me make this little adjustment here, straighten this out. All right, back to business. Now, we want to have the uh, visor come down just a little bit. And the bottom portion of the, uh, the front part of the helmet, we want to kind of get the shape going on here. So I'm putting the divider line in the middle so I know exactly how far apart things need to be. And then there's a centerpiece for the front or the forehead part of the, the mask here. Now notice I'm going a little darker now. Uh, originally when I started out, I went a little lighter and I'm doing that only because I don't want to confuse you when I'm putting the darker lines down. Normally I get comments that says, hey, it's too light in the beginning, uh, but I do it just enough so that you can see the forms that are going down. And then when I go over top of it with a darker pencil, pencil this is a uh, HB pencil. Uh, it's just easier to follow without a bunch of lines that kind of get muddy or and too many lines can confuse you. So now let's go back to the left side. What I've done is went from right to left. If you see, I'm actually uh, measuring the top portion of the top part of the helmet of the Gypsy Danger robot. And uh, now I'm doing angular lines on the helmet itself. And what you want to do is concentrate, concentrate or focus on lines that uh, parallel one another or across from one another to create the shape or the contour. If you notice, uh, a lot of these lines repeat themselves. So in this particular drawing, uh, you want to just pretty much follow those lines exactly. And if you need to, at any given time, feel free to pause the video and take as long as you need to uh, concentrate on what lines I'm putting down and, and uh, how they parallel one another and all the things I'm doing here. Why? Because it's an extremely complicated uh, robot type drawing. Um, and just to note, uh, any type of robot uh, figure or a transformer or whatever the case is, 
it requires a lot of different angles. So just hang in there and we'll get through, through this drawing. Now, on the top of this uh, portion of the head here, I'm putting two parallel lines across one another. When I say parallels, just like the number 11 or two lines that you put down that are right across one another. And um, it's usually easy to follow um, and put together to create borders and barriers and things like that. Um, and so here, you know, doing a little bit of time lapsing. And we're going into the shoulder now. And what I'm doing here is boxing out the uh, contour of uh, the gypsy danger. Measuring it out to make sure it that is even as possible and again uh, one of the advice or the advice I'd like to give when you're drawing or learning to draw or practice in drawing period uh, you always want to you know take your time and even when things aren't exactly where they should be uh, you continue to do it until you get it to where you're comfortable never be too hard on yourself or feel like oh you know I haven't met the mark uh, when it comes to these types of drawings you just do it as many times as you can until you get to the point where you're satisfied now if you notice at this point I'm doing a lot of contour drawing and contour drawing uh, for this tutorial basically uh, is following a lot of edges and uh, it's very very angular and it's not the form is not as soft as say a regular human being would be or a regular figure would be. So it's important to look at this exactly as a step-by-step. -step. It's one of those complicated uh, exercises in drawing that it takes in order to get uh, the results that you want, especially in drawing a Jaeger. So here you see I'm uh, putting in um, overlapping parts, uh, complicated machinery, things like that. And here on the wrist is literally a circle within a circle. And it's pretty simple there. And of course I'm making that line that goes down the center a little darker so that you can see it. lines to define it and I'm concentrating on the uh, left fist a little bit and now moving down to the waist portion of uh, the Jaeger and I'm using my finger to measure the distance between the right and the left and repeating what's on the left side and mirror trying to mirror image uh, what's on the left and make that happen on the right And pretty much that's what you can do to make both sides match is work from left to right and refer to the left and then look at the right and see if it matches up. As you see, I'm measuring here, marking points and freehanding, putting in uh, the gears and things that's on his wrist. Now here I'm going to be dealing with the mechanical part of the fingers. And of course, because he's robotic, uh, the parts on his fingers have overlapping, complicated uh, parts. And so we're dealing with the index finger and now moving to the uh, middle finger and repeating the same thing. The good thing about this type of exercise is that a lot of things repeat themselves on these type of forms here. So once you do one, you're just repeating it over and over again. Now we're dealing with the uh, the ring finger. And then finally, the pinky finger. And we don't see too much of that because it's hidden by all the other fingers. Now moving to the left hand. And of course you see the pinky. And then you'll see the ring finger, a little bit of it anyway. 
and then here we are putting the side profile of the, the portion of the Jaeger's hand. So now we we'll focus on the center piece. It almost looks like as I describe a, uh, a heat fan or some type of heating mechanism, a rotating fan that goes really fast. And it looks like maybe like a energy portion. Feel free to make time in the comment section if you are expert on Jaegers and uh, the robots like that. And specifically uh, when it comes to Gypsy Danger, if you know about that piece in the center and what it actually does, please let me know in the comment section. I would appreciate it. Um, but I treat it as a fan right now. And below that, and we put like this here, this T shape in uh, with a bit of a uh, arc at the bottom. And the fan or the power source on the uh, Jaeger repeats itself. So I'll get to that a little later. Here I'm cleaning up a little bit. And uh, neat eraser is great. Um, I always emphasize that, or not always. I uh, do emphasize at times that a neat eraser is important. Uh, it doesn't leave a lot of shrieks and things like the average number two pencil does with the shedding of the red. Um, but it, you can clean it up. And we're adding some gears here on the finger. I put the simple sh uh, circle shape there. Now here we're putting the second fan. And then they have uh, kind of patterns of these wavy lines here. And again, these shapes repeat themselves there. You can look at them as the letter S and they go in around completely around the shape of the circle here. Now fleshing out the uh, the rib portion of the Jaeger and the gear on the elbow. And in the shoulder area, he has some mechanical parts, what looks like uh, lights, like this portion that I'm doing now, it looks like it lights up at night. So you see one, two, three, that's all you can see and then it's uh, covered by uh, that portion of his hand there. And here now, beginning to deal with the right side. And of course, the right side is a, a duplicate of the left side. So here, just roughing it out and this is more of a sketch portion of it. And one of the things I want to emphasize as well is, uh, is when sketching and filling things out, it's not definite. But it's getting things to the point where you get an understanding where you want things to be and you're developing uh, the illustration. Not finalizing it yet. Um, of course, at this point in the tutorial, these things are being flushed out here. So it's a step by step. And then at the same time, when um, you get things to where you're comfortable with it, you can go back and make adjustments, uh, changes if need be, and it develops the drawing. Here I'm measuring from, uh, from left to right to make sure that that is proportionate as much as possible. And you'll hear me say as much as possible a lot because again, if you went back and you measured it perfectly, sometimes they're not always going to match up perfectly, but you want to get as close as you can. And here we're putting in the uh, details on the wings on his back. Again, these parts are that I'm naming. If you have the exact term of what they're called, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section. I am very interested in learning about uh, Pacific Rim and the characters and things like that. So feel free to educate me. All right. So here at this point, 
I am uh, cleaning uh, the Jaeger up, adding a little bit of detail. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are. If you'd like to see me draw more Jaegers, leave it in the comment section and let me know. Also, at the end of this video, click the link in the description box to learn about Perry Pencil t-shirts. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by pressing this round button at the bottom. Also, click on one of the two top videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. Perry Pencil.